Okay guys, so working on the S10 again. Uh, I'm gonna try to save these fenders. They're really good shape. They're, they're original GMs, they fit everything good. Uh, the lips are in good shape. The lip there is in good shape. I don't think there's a dent on these fenders. Uh, there is a little chip here. Uh, they're rotted out down here. Uh, just gonna do a quickie repair to these. Uh, I've just cut out most of the rust. And I just going to do, like I said, a quickie repair down here. I'm going to show you how to make a pattern out of some heavy paper real quick to, to do a rust repair. Okay guys, so I'm just doing a quickie repair on this front fender. Just down here where it's rotted out. I just took a piece of heavy paper and I just stuck it on the edge there. And all I've done is took my hand and pushed all around the edge to find the outline and just the dirt from my fingers and stuff and, and pushing on this paper has given me a real good pattern that I can transfer onto some uh, sheet metal here and we'll just do a quickie repair. I'll do this piece here and then I'll do a quickie piece there and uh, we'll save these fenders for now. So once I get the pattern test fitted and I like it Transfer it over to some sheet metal. And then we cut it out. Okay, so I got my piece cut out. Kind of got it shaped to where it's going to be. Got my metal cleaned off. It's going to go something like this. Bamel. Rust free fender. <laughs> kind of. Okay, to help this repair last a little bit longer, well, I got it welded and ground down now. A little bit of body work, you never know I was there. Uh, to help this repair last a little longer, I'm using some thicker steel here. Um, I'm having to do this in pieces because I don't have a shrinker stretcher. And I don't think a shrinker stretcher is going to uh, shrink or stretch the thickest steel that I'm using for this right here. Um, again, I'm using thicker stuff just so... Uh, it'll help this repair last um, a little longer. Um, we got it contoured there, and I'm gonna have to push this in to, to match that. But um, I got also got to put a little bend in this so it curves with the wheel well. But it's really hot right now; I can't hold it, so I'm waiting for it to cool down. I will get her bent and uh, finish welding this in. I'll come back and show you what I got.
this is why this fender's rotted out. You can see all this stuff just packed in there. Almost be better off if they had holes under here or something so this could get out. That's why it's rotted. Okay, so after the welding, grinding, fitting, we've got uh, a fender that uh, I just saved. I have no idea why this isn't rotted out like the kit, like, like the box. I mean, I have no idea. It's super solid. I, I, I'm baffled. Same with the other side. According to this truck, the rest of the truck, this fender should be gone. But anyway, we saved this one. I'm going to head over to the other side. We'll get the other one done the same way. We'll save it for a little while. A little while longer anyway. So that's going to do it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.